Hello, hi, hey Radiant Souls. My name is Heather. If you're new here, welcome. I am an intuitive counselor, energy healer, author, artist, animal communicator, and I am on a mission to empower and embolden others to connect with their divine radiant light and honor the sacred connection with all life. Today, I wanna share a little bit of a channeled message that came through, which I do occasionally. And again, if you're new here, what does that even mean, channeled message? I am a channeler, I am a psychic, a medium, in addition to all those other things I listed. And I work with a team of spirit, angelic, and multidimensional guides who help me bring through messages that hopefully can benefit all of us who are listening. So today's message was related to the fact that, you know, usually at the start of the year, we feel like it's that clean slate. We talked about that a couple days ago, but a lot of us set goals and you know whether it's officially a resolution or it's a theme that you've chosen for yourself for the year we kind of set our sights off into the distance of this is what i want to do this is how i want to be for this year and so it's this feeling of getting from here to there starting at one point on a map and getting to another and the team the guides were saying how you get from here to there is to take the T out of the middle. So if you look at the word here and you work, look at the word there, take that T out and they kind of overlay one another. It's the same word. So that T, they're saying take a time out. It's a little corny. But to disconnect your expectations of time, of anything needing to happen in any certain time. So to get from here to there, take out the T. Take out the by the end of the year or in 2023 or it will look a certain way at a certain time and act as if. And we talk about this a lot here, but it's always good guidance. And I like when it can be shown in a few different ways, like that little play on words. But let's say you want to be a certain way and you're saying, you know, in three months, I'll lose 10 pounds. What decisions would that future version of you make? Would she have the carrot cake or would she have the carrot um, or would she pass entirely? So make those decisions that the future version of you would make, make them now. And weight loss is just one example. It's kind of common for a lot of us to do that at the first of the year. Um, holiday eating being what it is. But it applies to anything really. So what habits do you see that future version of yourself having? Build those out. Those are the foundations. Those are the pavers. That's the stepping stones to get to where you are. And it's not so much um, putting time in, it's putting practice in. And that could happen in an hour, a day. Like you can magnetize and draw things to you so much more quickly when you're already acting as if. So that doesn't mean you don't still have to put in a lot of work. There might be a lot of work there. There might be limiting beliefs. There might be habits to dislodge and kind of rewire for yourself in whatever your goal is. Uh, there might be additional classes you want to take because maybe that future version of you knows how to do something, knows how to kayak. I don't know. So, well, then this version of me better get a kayak, better get familiar with the terminology, better get used to the water, better learn how to roll a kayak, whatever it is. Start doing those things now. Don't just set your sights far away because when you do that, when you say it needs to take a certain amount of time, you're kind of reaffirming and reinforcing that it does. So go ahead and act as if inhabit it within yourself. There was a line in, in my book, Hey Radiant Souls, um, I think, think it's in there inhabit yourself don't inhibit yourself so inhabit that future version of you and have that relationship with yourself the other thing and we're going to talk about this in a future video but um newsflash spoiler alert there are kind of a lot of different versions of you floating around the multiverse if that's what you want to call it um call those bits of you in to help and that can be past lives concurrent lives future lives however you want to classify it or just energetic kind of versions of you so play around with that those of you who are energy sensitive and learning intuition and developing it play around with you know what does that future version or another version of me is there someone who can come along parallel to me <laughs> and kind of help me out kind of help carry the load for me to get me where i want to be for the there that is really the here. 
So I hope that made sense. I hope that helped somebody out. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see you soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.